Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah, and this is a coloring book review flip through for Rainforest Escape, my island animal, exotic flower, and tropical plant coloring book by Jade Gideon. And this is how you spell his name down here. So I'm going to do this in a different order than what I normally do book reviews because there's a lot of flip out pages in here and I went through and flipped them all out so that it would be easier to flip through. So I will tell you the dimensions of this particular book is nine and a half inches by nine inches. So it's just a little off from being square. The page quality in this book is absolutely phenomenal. So I'm going to go ahead and move the book over this direction so you can see everything. It is one-sided, so there's nothing on the back pages once you get going in the book. They're all blank. So when we get there, I will move the book over. So first you have the name page, the nameplate page, and this very pretty blue color it goes with the island theme. Then you have the information page here. Make sure this is staying clear. There we go. You have more information over here, publications and stuff like that. This tells a bit about why they did the book and kind of so on from there, different colors and things like that. Let me see if I can zoom in any at all on here and still get everything in the picture. There we go. So this is the first flip out that's in the book, and I'm going to flip them back as we go. Pages are perforated, easy tear out, and if you notice here, there is a nice crisp white line here in the fold um, where the perforated line stops here. This is a great feature for this book because you're not going to see that the picture goes into the fold at all. This is this is great. Um, I wish more artists would do this with their books. This is a thin, um, a thinner watercolor paper. Um, it's not extremely heavy, um, so it will still be good for watercolor. It'll be excellent for watercolor because it is watercolor paper. But because it's not so thick and there's not so many divots in the page, um, it will still work really well for colored pencils, markers, crayons, ink pens, all that stuff that you would normally use in, in the adult coloring books. It will still work great for. And the artist did a fantastic job choosing this particular paper because it's able to be used for many different mediums, not just watercolor. It will still look good for all the other mediums as well. I got this book from Amazon and I paid, um, I think it was like eleven forty seven or something like that for it. Um, so Amazon does have this book, um, fairly inexpensive. Um, one complaint I had was on this particular page as I was flipping through, I realized that it was torn and the shipping and everything was from Amazon. So it came like that from Amazon and I did write them and tell them that and they are refunding my money. So, um, Kudos to Amazon for that. So feel safe ordering from them. Here's the next flip out page. I'm 
and the next one. There are 10 flip out pages all together. There are a few images here that are mirrored images. This one in particular. I have these flipped out already because it's easier to do the flip through through the book without having to open and then shut the pages. It just saves a little bit of time. Oops. I don't have his other, their other book yet. Um, I saw a review for it and I wasn't impressed. Um, I really expected more from the other book. So I decided to order this one instead. The title was more appealing to me anyway. Um, and I was hoping <clears throat> that there would be um, more pictures that I would be interested in personally in this one. And there is. I did notice that a lot of the pictures um, are kind of similar to the other book in a lot of ways. Um, they have photographs, they have a little desk with things on it, they have um, pages like this that just have leaves and things like that on them um, in the other book as well. So, you know, you'll be getting some somewhat duplicate images once you get both books. There are a lot more of these kind of pages than I would like, um, just patterns kind of on their pages and I really like artists that have a lot of just individual line work that maybe isn't patterns but are actual pictures. Um, that seems to be my my favorite kind of things to color. So in the back of the book um, each picture will have a little caption and it tells kind of why they drew that picture, where it was located, um, kind of back in childhood is, is what they were trying to recreate on here, in here, in this book. So I'll flip through these really quick. And there is no test page in this book. I was a little disappointed that there wasn't. But um, some of them just don't have them yet. Um, however, um, the pages that are like this with the captions on them work great for test pages if, if your coloring book seems to have those in there. I like these better than just a blank page because you'll see what your medium does with the actual ink in the book. Um, and, and I think that is really good. So I'm glad that they included that. So anyway, this is the back of the book. Let me kind of zoom in here. There we go. And this here is the other book, Island Escape. See if it will focus in on that at all. There we go. 
we go. Island Escape. <clears throat> this is the front of the book, back of the book, spine of the book, and thickness. It is a very thick book. Um, and the front cover says, um, color on high quality one-sided perforated watercolor paper plus 10 huge fold-out drawings. So they were correct. Um, you know, there, there are the 10 fold-out drawings and the paper is exquisite. The paper quality in this book is the best that I've seen in a coloring book so far. So until next time, thank you very much for watching and happy coloring.